want to be a software engineer at Google, go to algoexpert.io. Count me in. We've all seen that infamous Algo Expert ad where they claim that by using the platform, you can actually get into Google. I'm going to be sharing my story where I used Algo Expert and by just doing over a hundred questions, I was able to land my job at Google. This isn't a paid commercial for Algo Expert. I wish I was getting paid. I'm really, really broke, but I'm going to be sharing my unbiased opinion. I use LeetCode for my Facebook internship, but the thing was that by the time that my Facebook internship ended, I was expecting a return offer and I didn't really get it. So here I am sitting all depressed, not knowing what to do, whether to do a lot of lead code questions, where to start, where to end. And somebody recommended me AlgoExpert.io. And the thing that's really attractive about AlgoExpert is, is that they have a set course. They have 160 questions and they set you a goal that by doing 160 questions, you'll be well prepared for the interview. And that was really attractive to me at that time, because at that time I had been rejected from my return offer. I had no set path. I had no set goal. And by purchasing AlgoExpert, I was given this set goal of doing 160 questions, which would really motivate me to you know move towards that goal of landing my dream job also before i get started with the video i've noticed that a lot of you guys aren't subscribed to my channel please subscribe please that is an order Nah, just kidding. Enjoy watching this video. So the first thing that you want to keep in mind while using a platform like AlgoExpert or LeadCode is that the time or amount of time you have left to prepare for your interviews. And for me personally, because I started in August, I had a lot of time. I had about one to two months in my mind that I had to prepare for. So I went about my preparation accordingly. So you may want to, you know, readjust some of those tips according to the time that you have left for your interview. So personally, how I started was that I started doing the questions in a difficulty pattern, going from easy to hard questions now this was really essential for me because a lot of the easier questions are going to be building a lot of your fundamentals that are going to be used in the medium questions a lot of the medium questions are you going to be using the fundamentals that are going to be used in the harder questions now even if you're good at easy questions i still wouldn't recommend skipping them because sometimes what happens is, is that when you're doing an easy question you can still get stuck you can come up with a variety of solutions on easier questions it allows you to think in a lot of diverse ways it allows you to unlock some of the approaches that that are really really useful when you're approaching a medium or a harder style problem so personally i also attempted questions in categories so what i would do is is that i would filter in algo expert according to categories and i would do some of the easier questions in all of the categories and because i had a lot of time left i could afford to do the easier questions in all of the categories if you have less time left for your interview i would suggest that whatever topic that you find weak just do those topics more frequently a lot of the questions might just surprise you within an interview so i wouldn't recommend recommend that you skip the topics that you feel comfortable in but you know doing this by category also can help you solidify your understanding especially if you're near an interview you can just attempt the questions that you feel weak in and that is something personally that I did for myself is that whenever I was near an interview I would do more dynamic programming questions because you know who understands DP and I'm not gonna lie to you, I still to this day don't understand how DP actually works. So yeah, if you're weak in that, I would recommend practicing a lot on those categories. Another thing that I did personally was that I started off by easier topics such as arrays and then I built off onto harder topics like tries because what that's going to do for you is that a lot of the harder topics such as tries are going to be using topics like hash maps. So if you're fundamentally strong in hash maps, then it would allow you to do questions in a better way. That is something that just worked personally for me. So you might as well try it for yourself as well now an important thing that i did for myself is is that i allowed myself to struggle through the question and what that really allowed me to do is to brainstorm a variety of solutions getting stuck on that question really allowed me to get a good grasp of how the question works of how some of the different approaches around it can revolve and i didn't read the solutions i know that a lot of people tend to read the solutions when they're getting stuck but i didn't do that on algo expert you have a bunch of hints you can like reveal the hints and try to unblock yourself from there because in a real interview what would happen is is that the interviewer will provide you with some hints but they won't provide you with the solution so please don't do that now typically what i would do is that i would allow one and a half hour to myself to get stuck on the problem if that wasn't enough i would use all of the hints as well and if that wasn't enough what i would do is that i would go through the solution that was available you know on the website and then i would go through the video explanation as well and i think that that was really beneficial for me to understand the solution and the concepts as well for the question i think another important thing is is that this approach really works 
works if you have a lot of time before your interview if you're closer to your interview like for me when i was close to my interviews i didn't you know really allow myself that much time to spend on a problem what i did was that 40 minutes for a medium style question and then 20 minutes for an easier style question because that is the reality of the situation that you're going to be given in a real life interview as well now another thing that i did that really helped me is that i didn't really run the code and see the test cases that were given on the platform i would design test cases myself and i would dry run it through the code because in a real interview that would be the requirement you would be required to make your own test cases maybe you'll be given one or two test cases but otherwise you'll be required to make your own test cases and you really need to keep check of edge cases and edge cases are really important and what my habit really allowed me to do is that i was very very aware of edge cases making test cases myself allowed me to think about edge cases in a way that really helped me during a real interview now the thing is that a lot of people that i met and a lot of people that i've seen including myself tend to skip the time complexity and the space complexity analysis and this is really really important because it can make or break your interview even if you did the interview really well but you messed up the space or time complexity there may be a chance that you might just get rejected on this basis so make sure that when you're done with your question that you're considering your space and time complexity try to think of whether you can come up with a better solution don't go through the hints or try to see whether there exists a better solution for this question first try to think about it yourself can i come up with a better solution even though the interviewer is going to point it out for you that no i need a better solution but thinking of it yourself will really allow you to do better on the interview and that is something that i did myself as well i made this habit of doing the space and time complexity analysis and these hundred questions that i did on algo expert were questions that i spent a lot of time on i think the number of questions don't matter rather the quality time that you spend on each question really matters because that is going to build the concepts that are going to help you in the interview and doing the space and time complexity analysis for these hundred questions really reinforced these concepts in my mind and helped me to perform better in the real interview as well now the final thing that i would like to mention is that when i got stuck right and i wasn't able to come up with a solution using the hints and just reading through the solution didn't make intuitive sense to me then i would go through the video explanation on 2x speed i would just go through the first few minutes first don't go through the whole video first because you don't want to see the solution at the end just try to use that bunch of information to see if you can build up the logic for the question yourself now maybe like watch the first three minutes or four minutes of the video and try to see can you code up the solution yourself now if you can't make sure you progress towards the end of the video now that's how i personally did it for myself i didn't watch the whole video in one go i watched maybe like two or three minutes and then i tried to come up with a solution myself and this is the quality time that i want you to spend on your own questions as well because then again the amount of questions don't matter rather the quality time matters i've seen this toxic sense of culture being promoted that the more questions i do oh maybe i've done like 10,000, 1 million questions and i got into google or i got into amazon no you don't need to do that many questions you just need to do maybe a bunch of solid quality time questions 80 100 questions 60 questions maybe 50 questions will work for you who knows it depends on the quality time that you're spending on the question so bear this in mind and this is personally something that worked for me i hope you found this video to be insightful and i hope that you can implement these tips and tricks for yourself because i think that they will help you in your own journey please like this video and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment section down below if you have any tips for me or if you have any topics that you want me to cover in the future and as always see you guys in the next video